Hi thrifty friends, it's Laura. I hope you're all doing well. I am um, sitting here Tuesday afternoon. Uh, the kids have gone with their mom out for a little outing and I've got the place to myself. So look out, I'm doing a video. <laughs> Didn't have time to brush my hair or anything. You just take me as it comes. So on the weekend, my sister was farm sitting in beautiful Lanark County. So I went up and I spent the weekend with her. It's mutual friends of ours that uh, that own the place. It's beautiful. And around where we were are a lot of little tiny towns. But lucky for us, they all have a couple of thrift stores. So these are little rural thrift stores with rural thrift store prices. I just We had such a great time and, of course, chatted with people and it was a beautiful day. So um, I've got stuff from about three or four places and I think I spent a total of about $20. So um, I can't remember, some of this stuff still has a price on it. Some stuff wasn't priced, it was just, you know, make a pile. So uh, I'm just gonna go through. Uh, this I spied and I thought, wow, that's a really well-made bag. And it says first tactical on it. And I thought it might have a bit of value, so I speculated on it. Um, I've looked it up. It doesn't. I think it's probably part of another bag, maybe, that you would just lift out. So um, I'm not unhappy that it's not going to sell and make me back all the money I spent on Saturday. Uh, but you know what it's going to do? It's going to have coloring books, coloring paper, and crayons and markers and paint brushes and this will be our mobile tactical um, art bin for me and the kids so because sometimes we like to go out and uh, do our crafts outside while we still can and uh, other times we're in the living room or in the toy room so that one is not gonna make me rich but it's gonna come in handy this I thought I would buy as something to resale. It's a, a, po a portfolio for your art or your photography and it's archival. So um, I, when I was really into photography, I bought a couple of these. They're not cheap to buy. So I figured I can make back a little bit of the money that I sold, that I sold, that I spent on Saturday. So that's, that's nothing exciting, but hopefully it's gonna make me a few dollars. This I thought was just, really lovely and I that I did pay 50 cents for um, you can change out the picture if you would like but I, I felt always had a thing for this hard plastic like I'm not sure if it's lucite or what it is exactly but uh, when I saw it I just I didn't even think about it I just grabbed it so it's just one of those kitschy little things that appeal to me um, this I just thought was so beautifully done. It's obviously older because it is done on burlap and look at the quality of the back of it. You know, whoever did this work did beautiful, beautiful work. And this one does have a price tag on it and I paid 10 cents for it. So I just, I, I can't let a lovely handicraft piece go without uh, I, I just can't think of it you know going to the dump or going to wherever I just had to salvage it because I do have another piece here that I've had for quite a few years this one was a gift and I know that this one came from the late 1920s so I have two now I just need one more and I have a collection <laughs> I picked this up I've always wanted one of these uh, we had them come into the Sally every so often but they always sold before I had to wait a half a day before I could I got a mosquito before I could uh, purchase them and they always sold too fast so I never got one so this one was a dollar which is actually one of the highest prices that we paid that day all right let me just take a sip thank you for joining me a lovely neighbor went to town and brought me back a Timmy's I live in the best little village in Canada, I'm sure. So these are not old, they're new, they're just resin, but I thought they would just go into my 
Christmas decor perfectly, so I grabbed them. One, two, three. This I saw on the shelf, and I didn't even look at it a second time. I Oh, I've got to have that. Look at this. I've got a thing for little houses. Well, it turns out it's not a little house. It actually says Ye Old Curiosity Shop on it. So look at there's 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 me and my sister going shopping <laughs> at the thrift store and some of the wares and I'm not sure if this is a a Sasquatch or <laughs> what it is a suit of armor perhaps and I never read that book. Um so it's got all the wares out the front and I think it's just adorable. It's a jam pot and it is not from the 1930s it just says made in japan i did look it up and it's maritomo ware from japan and they have some other really cute uh cute little items like this so um that i'm just going to keep and enjoy uh salt and pepper nothing too exciting but i do love those red lids and i'm not sure if that's bakelite and i don't think they're correct to the bottom part of it but I want them for a craft so I grabbed those this I could not pass up look at this little plate with the cup little luncheon plate with the beautiful little transfers on the on them and it is it's a hobbyist piece and it's made by Jenny Rose what a great name, Jenny Rose. Yeah, so that is going to go in. I have a little collection of vintage children's toys, and uh, that's going to go into my collection. I can never pass up a vintage tablecloth. This one is in pretty good shape. It has a couple of spots that I'm going to work on, but I love these old things, and... You know what I do with them? I, I almost never put them on the table, but I've had a couple of parties in the backyard and just to sort of give a little bit of um, privacy to my party, uh, I have hung them on between the trees on, uh, on lines so that, and they blow in the wind and it's really quite pretty. I did it for Jackson's, um, what's that thing you have when someone's having a baby? Shower, baby shower. That's right, and everybody commented and enjoyed them. So, how's my time going? Uh, this, I'm not sure what era it is from, but it is Concentrated Javex, this bottle. I just thought it was way cool. I like this top. It says Javex on the bottom. Let me get the right light. Let me get my hand out of the way. Hold it not upside down. <laughs> Vanna White's got nothing to worry about from me. <laughs> but I thought that'd be neat for my fall decor. I'll just pop it in with my fall decor. And then this I love. I remember my mother having it in the 70s. I think I remember everybody's mother having these in the 70s. I think they were called Sea and Store. No, that's, that's something else. I forget now. Okay. But it's rubber made and you have it's on a turntable and then you have these bins that come off and I grabbed it so quick uh, that I didn't get a chance to check because these things can get pretty horrible if they've been closed up for a long time. But somebody stored spices in here. It smells really good. It smells a bit like Christmas cake. <laughs> so that's what I paid for it. And I'm not sure. I don't really have room for it, but I really like it. So I'll have to think on that a little bit. Uh, this I grabbed. It cost me 50 cents. Get back a little bit. It's They're plastic. It's just a little plastic shelf. It's got deeper shelves on the front and little thinner shelves on the back. So it probably was on a turntable in a store. But uh, it's just going to go on my craft table. And I paid, I said that, I paid 50 cents for it. So that's going to go into the bathtub and get cleaned up. And then quickly, yeah, I guess that's everything. A uh, little trivet made in Canada, in British Columbia, Canada, 
I liked it. I like the colors to go into my fall decor. Happy first day of fall, by the way. So grab that. And then this, the least exciting of all, is just for um, one of my plants. I'm bringing, I'm bringing a lot of my, a lot of my house plants go on vacation outside in the summer. But we've had down to zero a few times now overnight. So uh, they're coming in. You can see some of them over my shoulder. And uh, I just need stuff to, to catch the drips. So this is going to get spray painted and, and just made to look a tad nicer than that. So that's it. That was our fun Saturday out. We had a great day. It looks like we're starting to get warmer weather. Hopefully we're going to get a bit of a nice fall time and because I'm really not ready for winter <laughs> I am dreading it and I'm not a person who's worried about the cold but as you get older it's the footing eh that you oh a eh, my Canadianess came out there um it's the footing yeah I'm always worried now about slipping and falling and that sort of thing you really know you're getting old when that's your worry but anyways I'm still here so that's the best part of it so everyone have a good rest of the week. I hope your weather's great and I hope those fires are dying down and things are getting better for people. So uh, take care and thanks for joining me. Bye for now.